Well, hey folks, I have a metal detector to give away today. The company sent me this to test out, to try out, to give a, a short review on. I, see, I said, I'll be happy to do that. And then I'm gonna turn around and give it away. And they said, that's good with them. So that's what we're doing in this video. We're gonna give this metal detector away with all the accessories you need to start metal detecting. Uh, so first, here is a little information about the detector and what the winner will receive. Okay, so this is how the detector arrived to me. This is the shipping box, the Kiwitz KGM-01. It's got five adjustable sensitivities, waterproof, quickly uh, put it together, uh, six detection modes, distinguishable sounds, and ground balance. So this is how you will receive it if you are the winner. Back in this original box, if I can get it open. Got the owner's manual right here, tells you how to use it. It's got the uh, control box with the screen there. Some good uh, packing. Batteries are included. These batteries right here. Right here. Um, headphones, you can see there. Uh, this is part of the shaft right here. Two adjustable levers. Here is the carrying case or storage case for the detector. Uh, the rest of the um, support arm. This is all made of very hard plastic. It's got a rubberized handle here. It's very lightweight. Uh, this is the little hand shovel right there. It's like a little, little collapsible e-tool with the handle. And then down at the bottom is the actual coil of the metal detector. So this is everything that you'll get in the box. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it works. All right, so I've got the metal detector already put together. You can see here, uh, very easy to assemble. It's got a collapsible shaft in two different places. Uh, so this would be uh, uh, suitable for kids. Um, all durable, hard plastic for the most part, it looks like. Uh, it's not rechargeable. It takes two nine volt batteries. This is what I would consider to be a very beginner model metal detector. Uh, I think the entire package, um, I looked on Amazon, I think this will run all the accessories with the detector, somewhere around $150 on Amazon. Uh, so not terribly cheap, but also one of the, the, the less expensive models. Uh, I would consider this to be good for someone who, who thinks they might be interested in metal detecting the hobby, but who, who don't really want to spend a lot of money. So maybe for a, a young kid uh, who wants to give it a shot, or, or, or even adult who just wants to give it a shot without investing a lot. Um, you can get a sense of, of whether or not you would like the hobby. This would, this would be a good metal detector to use. So I'm just going to run through a few basic functions with this uh, metal detector to show you a, a little bit about it. I'm not going to go through all the modes, uh, the operations. It does come with an owner's manual, so you can check. the winner can check all of that out. I'm sure you can download it online as well. So let's look at just some of the, uh, the basic options. I'll throw out a couple targets, and uh, we can see how it works. All right, so here's the display. Turn the power on. I still got the uh, screen protector on. I'm not going to take that off. Um, it shows you all your different um, types of metals up here. Uh, you can run through the modes, coins, uh, discovery notch. You can notch some things out there to uh, discriminate. I'm not going to run through all of these. I'm just going to start in the basic mode. You can turn the sensitivity level up or down. You can adjust the volume. Uh, and this shows you the depth right here. Up here you've got your... Um, your spectrum of metal. I've got a couple of uh, targets laid out here. So that's just your standard uh, modern penny right there. You can see it's giving you a digital ID and it's telling you the metal on top of it. So it's saying zinc and it's giving you about a 70 target ID. Right beside it is a modern nickel. So guess what? It's showing you the nickel um, designator up top and it drops the number down below to around a 49. Looks like a 49.50. Here's a modern dime. So it's kind of jumping in between. Looks like. So right in between those, those modern dimes, they have weird composition. But it's giving you a pretty standard 75, 76 target ID. And then over the quarter, it jumps up to about an 81, 82. And it's giving you the uh, the designator on top, so you can see it actually will pick up targets, and it gives you the um, the tone as well changes. 
and you can change those tones as well. So that's a very basic demonstration of this metal detector. Again, this is one that I would consider to be a beginner model. To get someone interested in a hobby, uh, I think this would do well. Uh, this would serve someone well for that purpose. Uh, the winner, got to say this, obviously there is no implied or guaranteed warranty or anything like that. Uh, the winner gets the this particular machine. I'll take it apart and repack it just like I, I received it. Um, so yeah, this is the metal detector that you will receive. Nothing else uh, except what I show you in this video. All right, well, I've got everything packed back up in the box. This is how the winner will receive the metal detector. Everything's back in here uh, that I showed you earlier. I'm also going to include, so you're going to be fully set up here, ready to start out metal detecting. I'm also going to include a pin pointer to the winner. This is a Dr. Otec MT6 Pro. Uh, I've done a reel about this before over on Instagram. Uh, a, a beginner type uh, pin pointer as well. Uh, but it runs good. It, it finds the objects. Uh, once you get the, the hole opened up, it pinpoints the objects. Uh, so it does what you need it to do. So you're going to be fully set up. The winner is going to be fully set up to start mail detecting uh, for whoever receives the prize here. going to throw in one more thing, one more little small thing. going to throw in an iDig History decal. It's a 4-inch uh, by 4-inch, kind of a glossy finish. You can throw on your finds box or something. Uh, so there you go. That's everything the winner will, will receive. So here's the details. Here's how you enter to win. Here's how the winner will win. All you have to do is be subscribed to my uh, to my channel, to my YouTube channel. Um, and all you have to do is leave a comment. You can say anything you want. You can say, hey, love your channel. Uh, you can say, hey, don't like your channel. <laughs> but whatever you say, every comment is going to be entered in to win the contest. One comment per person, so one entry per person. Um, I'm going to draw the winner. I'll do a random comment picker two weeks from the day this episode is posted, from the day that this video is posted. So the winner will be announced March the 24th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, March 24th, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will post the winner uh, probably as a short, a YouTube short, on my channel, I probably will go ahead and post a, um, a little update uh, comment as well uh, to announce the winner, and I'll ship it out. One other thing, you certainly I would appreciate all the sharing <laughs> on this video, but that's not a requirement. Um, if you feel like you want to share it, please do so. Um, and even for those folks who already have metal detectors and are, are already into the hobby, um, feel free to enter and you can give this to a, a kid or a grandkid or a neighbor or someone in your family who's thinking about getting into the hobby. It's it's absolutely open to everyone. So all of this is really just to say thanks for following along on my YouTube channel. I just hit 5,000 subscribers recently. Um, so <laughs> never thought it would go that high. Never thought that I would get such a following. Um, certainly small compared to some of the bigger channels, but I'm grateful for each one of you that follows along and, and uh, you know sticks with me as I, as I pursue this hobby of mine. So um, that's it. That's the metal detector I'm giving away. That's how you win it. You have to be subscribed. You have to comment below. And I'm going to pick a winner March 24th. The winner will be announced 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope lots of folks enter the contest, and I'll be happy to see who wins. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching.